piles of packages sitting at the post office are piling on frustrations for people. Many are wondering where their bills are and why delays aren't being addressed. They go to post offices and leave with more questions than answers. We had a lot of viewers reach out to us and share concerns about the state of the Postal Service. We took those issues straight to the source and are looking into what's being done to get people their mail. Esther Bauer is live at the downtown post office tonight with why mail isn't showing up when it should. Esther. Well, Aaron, employees are calling out all over the region, and that's what's causing these delays. Post offices tell me they're trying to shift resources around to keep up, but people are left paying the price. They're dealing with late fees and are missing deadlines because of this growing issue. We just want to get our mail. Residents are making extra trips to the Deer Park Post Office after waiting too long for a delivery. We basically are lucky if we get our mail once a week or once later than that. We have to come down here to the post office and ask for it. Annie Sutton did that today and had the post office stop delivering her mail altogether. She can't trust it'll come in time. We um, missed a payment or that we had deadlines that we weren't filing. So at that time we realized that we weren't getting a lot of our important mail. Mail isn't making it to Chuck Simchuk in Wandermere either. We've heard nothing. We just go to the mailbox, there's nothing there. Empty mailboxes and empty promises about what's being done. We're all kind of really unhinged about it because it, we're so used to it being a secure thing. And so just for it to be like no big deal to anybody is really bizarre to us. The Postal Service tells us it's working to address the delays. They sent us this statement saying our workforce, like many others, is not immune to the human impacts of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. We will continue flexing our available resources to match the workload. They're trying to bring in more drivers, but these customers just wish there was more open communication from the start. And we have heard nothing and we see nothing in our mailbox, so. And we want to help you get your hands on your mail. You can try what Annie did, which is having the post office hold your mail. Head on over to KXLY.com. We'll break down how to do that and other solutions from the Postal Service. Reporting live from downtown Spokane this evening, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. And if you or anyone you know is experiencing any mail issues, tell us about it by sending us an email to news4 at KXLY.com.